Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here is a case of a middle-aged man presenting with pigmentation of ear and knee cartilage with urine that turns dark on standing. So let's answer the learning objectives one by one. The likely diagnosis is alkaptonuria and the cues to diagnosis include black knee cartilage and dark discoloration of urine upon standing. Homodentiate oxidase is defective and the likely cause is a recessive mutation. The pathway of tyrosine metabolism is impaired which is as follows. In the presence of transaminase, the tyrosine is converted to hydroxyphenylpyruvate. Its amino group is transferred to alpha-ketoglutarate, which is converted to glutamate. Hydroxyphenylpyruvate in presence of hydroxylase is converted to homogentisate. And that is the step which is homogentisate is oxidized by homogentisate oxidase. So here we can see homogentisate oxidase converts homogentisate into malleyl acetoacetate, and uh, this is the block in l urea that homogentisate is not converted to malleyl acetoacetate. So here is the formation of malleyl acetoacetate. The malleyl acetoacetate normally in the presence of isomerase is isomerized into fumaryl acetoacetate. Fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase cleaves it into fumarate and acetoacetate. The acetoacetate in presence of thiolase forms acetyl-CoA and acetate. In this case, there is uh, block at the conversion of homogentisate to malleyl acetoacetate. So acetyl-CoA and fumarate will not form and homogentisate will accumulate in body tissues. So this process will not occur. Now com coming to the biochemical basis of dark urine. Homodentisate accumulates and auto oxidizes forming a dark pigment benzoquinone acetate which discolors the urine. Homodentisate accumulates and auto oxidizes forming a dark pigment benzoquinone acetate which polymerizes and binds to connective tissue. Later in life chronic accumulation of this pigment in cartilage is called ochronosis and it may cause uh, joint pain and crippling arthritis. Now the biochemical basis of the weakening of cartilage. Accumulation of homodentisate interferes with normal functioning of the lysyl hydroxylase leading to the impairment of interchain hydrogen bond formation. Thus formation of a stable triple helix is also impaired. Additionally collagen fibrils cannot be cross-linked. Thus the tensile strength of the assembled collagen fiber is weak. So here we see that lysyl hydroxylase which is involved in the cross-linking of collagen is inhibited by excess amounts of homogentisate oxidase. So to summarize, the metabolism of tyrosine is impaired due to a recessive mutation in the gene for homodentisate oxidase. Homodentisate accumulates, it is oxidized to benzoquinone acetate which leads to the discoloration of cartilage and urine and there is uh, inhibition of the Lysyl hydroxylase by homodentisate in excessive amount. 
Lysine hydroxylase is normally responsible for the hydrogen bonds and uh, cross-linking of the collagen which uh, imparts the tensile strength to the collagen.